question number two and we have been given a code snippet and we have a main class and then the main method and then there are a couple of lines in there we have a private static method and in here we have a couple of uh, other instructions and we are what we want to know is what is the output so we need to go line by line and then kind of work as a compiler to see what the output is so uh, let's uh, let's start with the main method here because that's where the code will start so it calls the create value method and assign the value returned by that method into this variable called value so when the code is at this line so then the control jumps here in here we are saying string s is equal to null so s is assigned as null value and we are doing optional of nullable s so what this is going to return is an optional value of a string and this could be null and now that gets assigned to the value and then we do value dot or else so the way optional work is we could when we say value if it is not null then it will return that value of the string or else if it is null then it's going to return this value so in this particular case duke will be returned and that will be stored into the string str variable and finally we are printing the str variable so the correct answer to this is the third option which is duke 